beautiful. Oh, it's a lovely day. Okay, continue on. A little further up. <sighs> Look at these boulders. Oh, so pretty. Look how big they are. Continuing on with the climbing. This is more fun than climbing up that side of the mountain. Oh my goodness, I've never done this before. Look how gorgeous it is. Wow. You have to really take a deep breath. When you walk. Look at that, what a view of the valley. There you go. <sighs> yeah. Amazing how gorgeous the mountains are. I'm almost close to the uh, base of the mountain. It's probably about 2,500 feet high. Wow. How many minutes now? Look at that. I think I'm gonna just end it in here. Let's go down. There you go. We'll go to the other way. You really have to be, be, care be careful on what you step on. There's some big stones. You can jam your shoe or your feet. And there you go. You fall. I don't usually go that far because I'm by myself. Probably if I have somebody with me, I would, I would continue on. I'm always worried because, you know, I work at the hospital. And there's a lot of people, hikers, that are missing, especially now. People are coming in for the nice weather, and people love, people love to hike the mountains. And some of them are, get lost. They, then, and then the search and rescue will, uh, will be called. 
you know. So you have to be a very smart hiker in the in the desert. Smart hiking means you have to uh, be well equipped, sort of well well trained and not well trained, sort of trained, and uh, you need to be familiar with the area and you have to have a map. For me, I don't need a map because I know where to go. So you just have to have a map of the trail so you don't get lost. Because once you get lost and then you, especially if you hike in the afternoon and then at sundown, people like to walk at sundown and then it gets dark. And of course you get, you get uh, lost, get confused. This is where I, I climb up. Oh my God, there. <laughs> from that side oh my god i didn't know that how steep it is but it looks like there's some it's kind of a nice uh, walkway because it has stones shaped like a step where you can put your uh, feet to hold on to too and then you can grab some of the stones on the side to prop yourself so it's easy it's sort of steep but easy to uh, easy to climb up so I'm gonna try to go down, sort of, and then or probably even swing to the other side. There's another trail there on the way down. Uh, oh my goodness. Beautiful rock formation. <laughs> it's amazing how nature carves the uh, carves the mountains. It's amazing. <clears throat> so I'm going to go down I don't want to overexert my, myself because I'm going to play golf this morning too after this this is just a warm up this is the golf course that I'm talking about that's Indian Canyon Golf Course there it is that's Indian Canyon Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna do this more often. Next time I'm gonna go further. Today I'm just getting the feel, out, feel of it, feel of the trail, see where to go so I don't get lost. I'll probably start a little early in the morning, like six o'clock. I started at eight o'clock. I've been walking for the last hour. See how gorgeous it is? Woohoo! <sighs> All right. Whew. 